Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is not launching or if you're facing crashing issue or direct X error or EA anti cheat error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to make changes in exploit protection for Battlefield 6 EXE file only. Now for this, type in exploit protection in Windows search box and then click on exploit protection over here and then go to program settings over here and then click on add program to customize click on choose exact file path and then go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed uh, from e app and if it is in c drive you can go to the game installation folder select the game exe file if you have the game on steam open c drive program file 686 open the steam folder steam apps folder open the common folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file you have to select battlefield 6 exe file and then click on open once you open it you will see this pop up on the screen and this is for bf6 exe file only you have to put a check on override system settings uh, if this is on turn it off turn it off these are already off so it is already off off if this is control flow guard if this is on turn it off put a check over here turn it off this is already off 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 so if these are on you, you have to turn the, these off so in my case this this is on turn it off this is on turn it off off once everything is off over here now you can hit apply over here and then click on yes to allow and now you can launch the game and that should work if you face any problem, if you want to go to default, you can always remove this BF6 exe file and it will go to default. Now, the next step is to repair or uninstall and reinstall EA anti cheat. Now, for this, go to the game installation folder. If you have the game on EA app, click on manage, click on view properties, and then click on open folder. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the uh, Steam manage browse local files. This will again take you to the game installation folder. Now for the now once the game installation folder is open, open e anti cheat, and then you can make a right click on e anti cheat installer, and then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow, and then click on repair option, and then click on OK and select the game folder. So if you have the game on Steam, this is the location. Uh, you have to select this. Uh, you have to select the game folder, the Battlefield 6 game folder, and then click on select folder. If you have the game on e app, go to this PC C drive. EA games and then select the game folder and then once you select the game folder it will install it will repair the EA anti cheat once you see install success now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can click on uninstall all this will uninstall EA anti cheat here you can see uninstall success EA anti cheat for all the games but no need to worry when you launch the game when you launch the game from EA app or Steam, wherever, when you launch the game during the launch, it will reinstall EA anti cheat. Click on yes to allow and let it install. So, over here, you can see it's installing EA anti cheat. And once this is done, you should be able to launch the game. Now, if you don't have EA anti cheat folder, in that case, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. You can open this link in a browser. It will take you to EA website. On this website, this is this is the official website. Now here you can see download the EA anti-cheat installer and then you can run this exe file. Click on it and then you have to follow the same process. It will click on yes to allow. It will open EA Javelin anti-cheat setup now again click on repair select the you know, battlefield 6 folder and perform repair and once the repair is done launch the game if that does not work you can uninstall all and then after uninstall you have to relaunch the game and that will reinstall e anti-cheat now if that does not work the next step is to create a new local admin account like create a new windows user account now for this we can this has worked for many players so it might work for you you can try this open windows settings and then go to accounts and then scroll down click on other users over here and then click on add account and on this screen click on i don't have this person sign in information we will create a local account not a microsoft account and then 
add a user without a Microsoft account. If you want to name this uh, like user, you have to name name it whatever you want. This is just an example. If you want to create a password, you can enter the password over here. If you want to go ahead without password, uh, you can go ahead without password. So if you enter the password, it will be asking you to answer the security question. You can answer the security questions. And I'm going without password. Uh, this is this I have already created. OK, once the account is created, you can click on the new account and then for account type, you can change it to administrator over here and then click on OK. And once the new account is created, now you can log out. You can sign out, uh, sign out or you can simply lock and then you have to log in to the to the new account which you have created and then you can check the new account has worked for many players. Now, if you have these applications running on your computer, if you have daemon tools running on the computer, you can make a right click on the start menu and go to task manager. If you have this tool running, uh, in my case, I have running over here, make a right click and then click on end task. Make a right click once again and then click on end task. Close this and then make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager and you can close this. You can disable it in the device. Under storage controller, here you can see daemon tool. In my case, I have already disabled. Under universal bus controller, uh, in my case, this is already disabled. You can disable it. Similarly, if you have any other application, like uh, you can even, if that does not work, you can even uninstall daemon. Uh, you can uninstall it. And in future, if you want, you can reinstall it. If you don't have this, if you have this RE, WASD, or if you have DS4 windows, so you can, on the taskbar, click on this show hidden icon. And then if you have this DS4 running, you can make a right click exit. Uh, if you have any other anti-cheat program running, like face it, quit it. If you have over here, if you have Riot Vanguard running, you can close it. If you have uh, G-Hub running, quit it. And then, yeah. So if you have this Razor uh, application, Corsair application, face it, anti-cheat. If you have these application, make sure that you end the you, you can just end it from here and make a right click and then go to task manager. If you have any service running for these application, close it. And this is not limited to these software only. If you find any, just close all the third party application, which you think might cause the problem because the e anti cheat detect those application as a cheat application, like an anti cheat, some different anti cheat program. So that's why you are receiving the error. So you can close all the third party application and make sure that you close it from the task manager. If you find it in the device manager, you can disable it. In, dis in device manager, you might see this XVDD SCSI mini port. If you find it in the device manager, you have to make a right click on this device and you can disable it. Corsair bus, if you find it in device manager, you can disable it. Or you can even uninstall these application and then restart your computer and then launch the game. If you have any third party application like VLC codec, wallpaper engine, MSI apps, like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Tuner, anything running, close it. Also end the service from task manager as well as device manager if you find it in device manager. Now this has also worked for many players. So if you are receiving that direct X error, like some error, if you see this separate app running, uh, many users have this application running uh, you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then restart your computer and then launch the game. If you have Crypto Pro uh, application running, you can close it or you can uninstall it. Even Punk Buster is causing the problem. So you can uninstall Punk Buster, delete the Punk Buster from every uh, possible place. Like you can go to program files, program files x86 and check if you have Punk Buster folder somewhere, you can delete it and you can close these application or you can uninstall these application. If you have this goodbye DPI application running, you can close it. So these application are not yet that troubleshooting is not limited to these application. If you find any third party application, which you think maybe is the reason, so you can just uninstall or you can close those application and then restart your computer and then check. Next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then in the launch option, type in dash DX11, uh, sorry, dash, dash D3 D11. And then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can go to properties once again. This time you can type in dash DX11, launch the game again, and then check. If that does not work, you can even try dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now, if you have the game on 
e app then click on manage over here view properties in the launch option type in dash d3 day 11 and then you have to save it close it launch the game and then check if that does not work then you can type in dash dx11 and then you can save it launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 save it launch the game and then check still not working you can remove everything from here save it follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee kaspersky that is also causing problems so any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file all the exe file your e anti gt exe file and everything to the antivirus program i will show with uh, windows security if you are using windows security go to privacy and security windows security and then go to virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browser apps select this exe file and then go open again click on add an allowed app browser apps and then you can open e anti cheat select this and then click on open once it is added type in control panel and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app browse and then again you have to add all the exe file so open the game folders this one this one and this one add everything over here click on open in my case i've already added so once you add it now you can launch the game still not working the next step is to rename settings folder now for this you can open file explorer in computer and then go to documents over here if you see battle 6 folder um, open this battle 6 and then over here you can see settings so create a backup for settings all the saved settings will be lost when you rename or delete this folder so now you can once you have a backup you can rename it or you can delete it and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work then you can rename this complete battlefield 6 folder you can create a backup first copy this folder once you have a backup created now you can rename this or you can delete it but let me inform you you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch but you already have a backup so you can rename this once you rename it now in my case i already have this so that's why i'm receiving this so once you rename the game folder now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this if you have the game on steam make a right click on this game browse local files if you have the game on e app manage view properties open folder and then make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you, you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check you can even try launching the game using this e anti cheat game service launcher you can make a right click run as administrator and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok now follow the next step now the next step is to disable integrated graphic card driver so if your computer has a dual graphic card so make a right click on the start menu open device manager expand display adapter if your computer has a intel any integrated graphic card this is a ded dedicated graphic card in my case so make a right click on inbuilt graphic card the intel one and then you can disable it and then you can launch the game and then check and in future uh, once you're done playing the game you can always make a right click and enable the integrated graphic card also run the game uh, on the dedicated graphic card and for this type in graphic settings uh, graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop app and select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then select high performance over here you will see a graphic card now you can check install direct x now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website over here you can click on download and then run this exe file and then you can install this dx accept click on next 
uncheck install bing bar click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart the computer and then you can launch the game still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia and then select your graphic card over here make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on fine and then you can run this exe file you have to download and then run the exe file on this page you will see the latest graphic card version it will be on the top right now it's 580.88 whichever is the latest click on view and then you can download this file and once the download is complete run this exe file now once you run the exe file uh, you will see agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on next and after the clean installation restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game and then you can check still not working uh, next step is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator. So you can close Steam, exit Steam, and then you can type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on e Steam, and then run as administrator. Similarly, you can do the same thing with EA app. So you can exit EA app, and then you can type in EA app, make a right click on EA app, and then run as administrator, and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update in Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart the computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. This is important. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see x86 and x64 file. You have to install both the file x86 and x64. Run the CXC file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, and run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once both are installed, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Still not working. The last step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer which you're not using. So if your motors, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnected. Uninstall VPN. So if you're using VPN, uh, you can like if VPN is there, you can turn off VPN and then check. If you're not using VPN and you're facing the problem, you can use VPN. So try both on and off and then check. Disable overlay. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and then Turn off the enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have the game on EA app, you can go to three horizontal lines and then go to settings, go to application. And over here, you can scroll down. Here you can see in-game overlay. In my case, it is already off. Now you can launch the game. If you have any other overlay application running, like Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have NVIDIA app running, then you can go to NVIDIA app. Uh, if you have NVIDIA app, you can go to NVIDIA app and then go to settings and then you can turn off NVIDIA overlay from here. In settings, you will find NVIDIA overlay. Turn this off. Or you can simply close all the overlay application and then launch the game. If you have any overclocking application running, first of all, do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set, it to, set the overclocking to default. Just set the overclocking to default and close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner or if you have any kind of third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.